Well, extreme heat and drought conditions could trigger more wildfires, and that's why firefighters are keeping a very close watch tonight. KCALINE's Juan Fernandez has the very latest from a fire station in Agoura Hills tonight. Juan. Well, Susie, this is fire station 89 behind me right here. This is where several area strike teams are located, and firefighters tell me even after conditions get better and things cool off, the threat of fire will still be there, and they'll be ready. Red flag conditions continue, and so do strike teams, keeping an eye on the winds and dry brush. Today we had about 100 additional firefighter staff throughout the county. We had some pre-positioned strike teams here in Agoura Hills and also down in the Carbon Canyon area of Malibu. We've also sent resources down to the fires in San Diego. It's been like this for firefighters all around Southern California for the last few days. And when fire erupted at Sherman Way and the 405 freeway, they were there within minutes. A couple of lanes of the 405 freeway had to be closed to traffic while firefighters battled the flames and within a short time they were out. Firefighters tell me the current weather conditions haven't made things easy. We've seen single digit humidities the last few days. That's made the fuel bed very dry. It's available to burn out there right now. It's going to take a day or two for those humidities to uh, increase and recover the fuel moistures. And in the middle of this dangerous heat wave, word that LA County officials had to close Castaic Lake to swimmers. The lake now at 71% capacity. From where the swim beach was to where it is now, there is a sheer drop, so it's not safe. The 4th of July fireworks show has also been canceled there due to dry conditions. We're expecting a long season. We won't know how bad it is, unfortunately, until the end of the year when, when we can count the number of starts. And the big difference out here again tonight, as it was last night, are the winds. The winds have died down significantly, and firefighters say they've noticed a less of an offshore trend, less of an offshore flow. For more on that part of the story, meteorologist Rich Fields live in studio with the winds. Rich. Hi.